Hey guys, so today we're going to go over the update manager. I'm not sure if I have an update or not. It says that I do. We can, of course, manually check. Should pull down a new kernel, hopefully. Yeah, we got a total of updates. And there's the new kernel. That's what I wanted. Now, I did have another video showing a whole lot more updates than this, but unfortunately there was construction, up construction upstairs, so I had to redo the video now, and I guess it's the perfect time. So this is Pika. OS's update manager. It's really cool. It's slick. It's easy to use and it's a GUI which most people uh, consider to be uh, beginner friendly. I, I don't know why a GUI would do that. I mean use your just just it, it does the same thing as a terminal does. It just shows you things and has a button. It's not that much different than entering a command honestly. But uh, flat packs shows updates there as well. It's got APT settings, it's got flat pack settings, so you can add repos, remove repos, whatever you need to do. It's definitely one of those things that um, is very useful for beginners, I guess, to help familiarize themselves with how updating a system would work. Uh, I really think this needs a, an image. I might take a look at that and do that myself, but yeah, we have a new kernel incoming and uh, I am very, very happy about this. I'm going to take a picture because I'm going to rub it in. So, why? Why am I making this video? Well, I want to tear down Pico OS 4 into individual videos going over its applications. I also want to do some videos on it with gaming. I want to talk a bit about more what makes it tick, uh, what exactly is in the kernel, what they do for drivers, the works. I want to make it so that Anybody can jump into Pico OS and instantly know what they're doing by just watching a short video because having that opportunity to learn from just short videos instead of super long ones that are broken up by chapters tends to yield a better result for most people. Now YouTube's all like, we have to make the minute the video eight minutes long. No, I don't. I'm sorry. I don't. I, I guess I earn more, less. I earn more money from eight minute long videos. That's true. But again teaching comes first even in my current situation so yeah this is the refresh button up here so and then we have this button it basically shows you who built it and what version we're currently on legal and report an issue currently goes to a dead github but that's completely fine uh, if you actually need to report an issue do so inside the discord it would be a whole lot better it's got a nice nifty little icon the APT settings basically lets you add repositories if you need to. There's a bunch of legacy ones, and then there's the one that I entered, which is a wine one, so that's completely fine. Flatpak settings, again, you can add Flatpak repositories if you need to. There's a bunch of them. There's beta repositories, alpha repositories, and a whole bunch of other stuff, okay? So just know that. Anyway, I think that pretty much covers this. I'm going to do the update right now. I'm going to click commit upgrade. It's going to pop up this window. We're going to hit this button, which is going to do everything it needs to do. It's going to show you a little cool animation and it's going to start unpacking the Linux image, the headers, and it's going to start building the modules afterwards for the Nvidia GPU. A AMD card doesn't need anything like that. It will just automatically work. I hope this helps somebody if it did. Hit the like button. If you're new here or you keep coming back, don't forget to subscribe. I'm trying to reach 40,000 by the end of the year, and I would really appreciate the help. And I will see you guys next time.